Good afternoon, legends. I am here to uh, discuss a topic that we get asked so, so much here at Mac, and it's something that I think a lot of you would get value from hearing a little bit about, and that is what is the best protein? Um, now, it is a little bit of a clickbait title. I'm gonna tell you a lot more about protein and a lot more that you need to understand, but at the end, we will tell you some top recommendations um, from Mac in terms of specific products just to help you guys out, so stay tuned for that part at the end. Now, first of all, the most important part about protein is understanding that there are different types, and those different types are going to suit different different purposes um, because obviously all of us are individuals we have different goals we have different needs we have different allergens and different preferences um, and different types of protein are going to suit different people in that way so first of all we have our whey proteins second of all we have our casein proteins third of all we have our vegan proteins and fourth we have our collagen proteins um, so four different types the first one is the whey protein is obviously the most um, traditional it's the most well known it's also the most popular so we're going to start there now in the whey proteins, um, just to make it a little bit more complicated again, we have a couple of different types. So you'll have your whey protein concentrate, your whey protein isolate, and then your hydrolyzed whey protein. Um, now in that order, those three are different uh, rates of digestion into your bloodstream. So the ability your body has to break down those uh, particles and make them into, or will break down to wreak out the uh, amino acids and put them into use to maintain your muscle, to grow your muscle and to build your recovery. So. The concentrate is a slightly slower release one, so for those people who are looking for something that's going to help them feel fuller for longer, that is your go-to. The isolate is a little bit quicker absorbing, uh, it is still relatively cheap, so it is also quite uh, lean and refined in terms of the uh, amount of carbs and fats and stuff like that, so it's very good for someone who's on a diet. Also a better uh, option for those people who are having it directly post-workout. And then your hydrolyzed protein is the pinnacle of post-workout shakes, uh, but it is quite expensive. So you will tend to find that hydrolyzed protein is blended together with isolate um, to build a really good post-workout shake, but one that is affordable for you guys as well. So that's your three different types of whey protein. Now, whey protein is the most popular. Um, it is also the most bioavailable in amino acids and easiest for your body to use. Um, so it is the most popular, but keep in mind, whey protein is going to be um, not a great option for those guys who are lactose intolerant, uh, for those guys who are vegan, or for people who have uh, some problems with uh, like gut bloating, digestion, that can be sort of sign of um, intolerance to lactose. Uh, so the whey protein might not be as great for those people there. So moving on to our second type is casein. Casein is a slow release uh, protein. It is perfect for overnight. Uh, basically, the casein is quite a complex chain. Um, so your body has to work a lot harder to break down those amino acids um, and put them into your bloodstream. So it's a really slow release protein. Um, that's pretty much all you need to know about that one. Uh, is good for overnight, is good for um, extending an anabolic window, um, is also very good for keeping you feeling full for long as well. Um, Third category, the vegan proteins. Now these ones have come so, so far in the last five years. We started with an extremely gritty, not very enjoyable, pretty horrid uh, protein. Uh, we've now got a, such a diverse range, many different flavors, um, and a really, really smooth, enjoyable protein. So first of all, um, don't give vegan protein uh, the sour face if you've tried it five years ago. Try it again, I guarantee you will like it a little bit better. Now, the vegan proteins are a very unique type because they can be made of a lot of different things. Um, so the three most popular types of vegan proteins that will come are your pea protein, uh, your rice protein, and your peanut protein. Uh, you will tend to find that the brown rice protein is a really thick and gritty and gluggy one, um, but it is quite cheap, so a lot of people use it. Peanut protein, obviously not great for people with peanut allergies, but it is a really smooth protein to use, uh, and the pea protein is very cheap as well, so a great option. Um, we have started to see some new types of vegan protein come through the market as well. Obviously, we had like the watermelon seed protein, the hemp protein, the algae protein, um, a lot of different types from a lot of different brands, and those formulations are starting to come along to be a really um, innovative way of eating as well as a uh, really nice formulation that fixes some of those problems. So the grittiness and the not enjoyment and uh, the texture, that sort of stuff. So vegan proteins have come a long way. People who would like vegans, proteins aren't necessarily always vegan. Uh, I am for sure not a vegan, but I do use vegan protein myself because I have a lactose intolerant. Uh, anyone who is gluten intolerant will always like these. Anyone who likes things that are organic and naturally sustainably sourced, uh, vegan proteins can be an amazing option. Vegan proteins are also really, really good for cooking, so some people will use them that way. Um, and even people who just have suffered a little bit with digestion and stuff like that in the past with whey proteins, vegan protein can be a great option. Um, 
Moving on to our fourth protein nice and quickly uh, is the collagen protein. Now the collagen protein is probably the newest, uh, the most innovative and the most like cutting edge in terms of science. We don't have that many types of it. Uh, we had the body science collagen regenerate, uh, which is more of a supplement in the health category than it is like something you'd put as a post-workout shake. Um, and we also have of course the no way protein, which is collagen protein with your hydrolyzed collagen peptides. So um, a very new, very uh, innovative and very uh, different way of drinking protein. Um, it is very bioavailable to your muscles and of course very good for boosting your joint strength, your bone health. Um, collagen is one of the strongest protein fibers that your body can possibly have, um, but it is quite expensive and it doesn't have a lot of science behind it as yet. So um, for most people who are on a budget who are eating their protein just to get their protein intake up. Your whey and your vegan proteins are your two best options. Now I am going to go more into those two and give you some recommendations, key recommendations as to what um, proteins are the best. First up, the best protein for a post-workout shake would be the Isopet by EHP Labs. The most cost-effective protein that you can get, so the most bang for your buck, would be the gold standard 100% whey from Optum Nutrition. The best thermogenic protein, so the best for whilst on your diet and you're trying to get extra fat burn, would be the Maxine's Burn from Maxine's Protein. And the best tasting and most exotic flavored protein would be the uh, Ghost Whey from Ghost Lifestyle. The vegan protein with the best texture and the best taste, the smoothest and lightest in my opinion is definitely the Protein Switch, a super new one from Switch Nutrition. The most cost effective protein in your vegan protein range would be uh, Blessed by Clear Vegan, um, which is commonly known uh, as an EHP Labs co-company. It's the best flavor range and also the best vegan protein to cook with, or the best protein to cook with in general, not even vegan, would be the Macro Mike range. So we hope that has helped you legends out with deciding what protein is the best one for you and which one you are going to go with on your next order. Um, of course, it all does depend on whether texture is more important, taste is more important, and what kind of training and goals you have going at the moment. But if you have any questions and you need a little bit more info on this one, feel free to DM us, um, to hit up that live chat on our website, or to drop a comment down below and we will respond to you legends as soon as possible. Uh, thank you for watching and we will see you on the next one.